Junior show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I just got back to the Ramstein concert and I had uh, tickets for the uh, ADT club. It was upstairs. And they got all the food and the open bar. They had quesadillas and pork chops and steak and they had a whole pizza bar, all different kinds of pizza. God, I fucking ate everything. I'm so fat and full right now. It was great. I never really listened to those guys, but they put on a really good show and they're very handsome. And uh, they didn't wear shirts most of the time. Shirtless, handsome gentlemen. Who doesn't love that? And uh, I left there and I went to Super Walmart and picked up a uh, new bath mat for my bathroom. And it, I got a plaid one. And then I got it home and it didn't match. And I was drunk. It was like 1 in the morning, Super Walmart's open 24 hours. So I drove uh, back there and I returned it and I got the blue one that matches my bathroom. So that was good. But I got pulled over on the way, and a cop was like a full Nazi who walked out to his home, walked up to my car and looked at me for a second. He's like, papers. I was like, scissors, I win. Yeah, I see the uh, free credit report guys are back with their band, which is cool. Pure rubbish. Band, I think it had five members, and they were terrible. And then uh, the other guys only have three members. This so man guys, is an ass clown. Situation. I can't have my own alter ego making me look bad. You're right, boss. He must be stopped this time. You bungus! Prepare me an intercontinental breakfast and also prepare the interdimensional transport. Right away, sir. I didn't go to the hospital. So I see online everybody's hating on a lot of hipsters all the time. I don't know why they're hating on hipsters. I uh, teach their own, motherfuckers. And then I heard about this speakeasy bar where all these hipsters hang out. And I was like, well, I don't know if I hate hipsters or I like hipsters. So I figured, let me go to this bar and check out some hipsters. And there was so many hipsters there. You know how many? It's an obscure number, and you probably never heard of it. But yeah, they were all, uh, they had scarves, and they were wearing, like, 80s stuff kind of and I went there and they were all talking about how they don't go to corporate chains and uh, they were talking about how they got there that night that's how I talked to a lot of them they were like yeah I drove my Prius here or I rode my bike or I took like the bus which is cool I drove I took public transportation and we don't go to any place corporate we never go to like uh, Benigan's or things this man's not fit to raise pigs Humongous. I must save Mildred from this scoundrel. The one that didn't have their iPhone had their, uh, their tablet, and the one that didn't have a tablet had a iMac, a little MacBook, or whatever. Uh, I hate corporate, but iPhone, it's friggin' slavery shit. Uh, everybody's worked up about the election. Whoa, the big election. Should we vote for the douchebag or the fucking piece of shit? I don't know. What the fuck's the difference? Who cares? I don't know either of them. Neither one of them are my friend on Facebook. So, who, what the hell? How do I know? I don't care. I'll vote for me. I'm running for president today. Hey, everybody. Uh, oh, yeah. I shit my pants yesterday. That was cool. It was an accident. I was out in public. Uh, breakfast was delicious. You've outdone yourself this time, you bungus. I'm glad you like the beefy nipples and onion parsley sauce, sir. Now, you bungus, don't send me into the middle of the Everglades again. Last time I landed on a value jet. No, sir. I got you right out in front of his lair. There's no time to waste, man. Hit the switch, you bungus. I'm prepared to be transported. Transport.
<laughs> and that's why you never eat a fish sandwich on the city bus with no pants on. You, sir, are an ignorant filibuster. Your language is atrocious, your character is unstable, and you have the manners of a goat. The pure audacity of making your own show is an insult to the entire human race. And now, you must die! <laughs> show I have a little segment I like to call video crack smack. We got a graphic for that? Play that graphic. It's Diablo 3. I just finished playing it in the other room. I got through the whole game. It took me a couple days, but uh, no big deal. I didn't sleep. I, I haven't eaten. So I just got right through it. But uh, I got, it's like level 23, and I finished the game, but you can get to like level 80. And as soon as I finish the game, it goes try to play the game again, but on a harder difficulty. But you stay the same level, and you keep all your stuff, and you get better stuff. I don't get it. I. I I just don't get it. I don't. I don't get what they. What. What are they trying to do here? What. What is this? What is this? Piece of crap. Four out of ten. That's it. Diablo three. Diablo's. Simple as that. See you later. Fuck this shit. Yeah, that game does blow. All right, Mildred here is a little upset about the things that went on earlier. Her and Bizarro Box have a little uh, past that not too many people know about. So I flew her half-sister in, Nancy. She's from the Legless Islands in Angtura. Hey, am I saying that right? No? All right. And uh, just trying to cheer her up a little bit. She brought some cookies. I ate those. They were delicious. I'm cheered up. But Mildred, she's uh, still not talking to me. She won't even look at me. But, uh, so I got her favorite band to play on the show today, which I'm very excited about, and she should be excited, but I'm, I'm seeing nothing. But Nancy's really happy. It's one of her favorite bands as well. Shaved Hamster's on the show, everybody. Shaved Hamster. <laughs>
shaved hamster, everybody. Those guys just keep getting better. All right, that's the show for today. What did we learn on the show today? We didn't learn a goddamn thing. All right, motherfuckers. All right, that's it.